about working with such masters as Lenny and Chris and Steve and Peter is that when I bring in new music, they are bringing all their wealth of experience and, and taste and skill and imagination to the music. So it's really fun for me as a composer to write something and then bring it to the band and see how it blossoms because inevitably it's going to sound a little different than what I imagined in a, in a great way. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing the music. I like that. It's a great opportunity when you get a chance to play some very, very challenging and beautiful music. And this music that we just recorded uh, was kind of spectacular. I've known Rini a long time now, you know. Um, we used to play together a lot, maybe 20 years ago even. And uh, to see the evolution of her writing and her conception uh, is really, really beautiful. It's been many years since I played any of her compositions and she's definitely in a different place now. It's very, very special to see, uh, you know, some of these uh, songs. I don't even really know what kind of category to put in. They're kind of, they just sound like reading music now. You know, it feels like a meeting of old friends at this point, which is uh, just a nice, a nice comfortable feeling I think you hear in the music. She does a lot of different things well. And that's the prize you get from playing with, with the masters. That you, you can go in a lot of different, a lot of different directions. But every song she she writes has a little different flavor, and usually it has a little different different theme. She's always thinking, you know, her mind is always going, so she's always got something different going. I, I think some of the pieces today are from um, an artist Emily Carr. So the title of the album is Beloved of the Sky, and that particular piece was inspired by uh, a painting by the Canadian painter uh, Emily Carr. I grew up in British Columbia in Canada, and so her work was around all the time. I saw it a lot, and it just feels like home to me. A lot of it is Western landscapes and uh, First Nations uh, villages and uh, artifacts. So it's, it's really familiar territory and familiar visuals um, to me. And, uh, and so the particular piece, uh, Beloved of the Sky, is, is of a painting by Emily, which was, the, its full title is Scorned as Timber, Beloved of the Sky. And it was, it's just a, a striking image and, and uh, one that inspired some music. Mm -hmm. 